Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video about something a little bit different using VidTune. Now, most of the stuff you're going to see is animated characters on backgrounds and doing cars and AC units and all that kind of fun stuff. But what I want to do is show you how you can also use this for creating animated text for a straight up video sales letter style video uh, or an explainer video, something like that. So the way this is done is actually really, really easy. I've got a blank canvas here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in a background. So over here, obviously, if you wanted to, you could choose one of the pre-built backgrounds, which is not really going to uh, help us much in this particular type of video. So we're going to upload our own by coming here and hitting click to upload. And then I'm going to choose this background right here, hit load. It's going to bring it in and then I can take that and just drag that in just like we did before. Put that into our timeline here. And depending on how long we want this, we can stretch this out. I'm just going to do a 15 seconds because that's what the timeline default is there. So why not? And so now we've got our nice little background. So what we want to do in this case is just add some animated text to this to kind of send a message for a video sales letter. So we're going to come over here to the text area. I'm going to hit add new text, drag that in, drop that in here. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit. Now I'm going to make a few changes to this for a video sales letter. So first of all, we can kind of leave that. Eh, maybe we'll just do up to five seconds for this one. And what we're going to do is hit our settings button here. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a lot of different options. Now, the first one I'm going to do always is to center it. And I'm even going to center it in the box just so everything kind of works around that nice middle area there. And this is the traditional video sales letter where you see the, uh, you know, black text on white backgrounds or white text on black backgrounds. But we're going to do it a little fancier than those typically do. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to want to change this text here. So we're going to come down and we're going to make a few changes to that. Um, one, what we want to do is upgrade the font size maybe to like a 55, something like that. Okay. We're going to change the actual font in here. They've got a lot of different fonts to choose from. Um, the one that I liked last time I was playing with this was the Roboto Bold. So we're going to go with that again there. So it's a nice standard font, nothing crazy, but you can go crazy with the fonts and do whatever you want. You can always uh, bold these, you can italicize, you can underline, or a combination of all three, whatever you want to do, whatever makes sense for what you're trying to do there. Now, once we do that, we're going to put our message in here. So if our first slide was going to be, uh, have you ever done an escape room? Okay, so that's what this one's going to be for the first slide. Now. Right now, in a traditional video sales letter, you've kind of got what you need. You've got text on a background. But of course, we want to make this a little, uh, a little nicer, a little fancier. And you can do that in here because you've got a lot of text options. Okay, starting from the colors of the text all the way down to how you animate the text. So in this case here, you've got a few different text color options. So we can come in and we can change the actual text to a different color. Okay. And we can mess around with that and come up with whatever we want. Or we can go right back to our white. But you'll notice here we've got this option for text color mode. So in here you've got horizontal gradients, vertical gradients, and four corner gradients. So the horizontal gradient allows you to choose two colors. So if we wanted to choose one of them as red. And you can see what it does is it turns one half of it, each letter red, one half white. Which is really, really cool. If we go to vertical, we kind of do the same thing. Come in and choose our color here. Maybe this time we'll do a, a blue color. But you'll see now half of the, the top is one color, the bottom is the other. Very cool effect. We love that. But we now have another option as well, which is the four corner gradient. And in this case, you get to choose four different colors. And this allows you to really do some cool stuff. So if we choose one here, you'll see that if we choose, we'll choose a dark blue. You can see the first corner of each letter is that blue color. If we come down here, maybe we choose a red color. You can see the bottom is that red color. And then maybe we want to have one of them that's a, a yellow color. Okay, 
So we got this crazy kind of coloring here, which at first is like, oh, that's wild, but it's actually really interesting and, and could be a lot of fun. So we're gonna leave that like that for now. Um, you know, it may not work for what you're doing because it is a bit of a crazy color pattern in there, but it's very, very cool. Now, some other options that you have with this is um, you can come down here and you can change all the different kernings for what you've put in here under the extra settings. So this would be like if you wanted to uh, change the spacing on the characters themselves. So we could put in a, an, an 8 and you'll see it spaces the characters out, okay? We can put an 80 <laughs> or we can go right back to 0. Now we've also got the word spacing so we could change that as well and give the words extra space which is always nice. You've also got the line spacing if you want to change that. So you can space those out a little further. And you've also got your paragraph. Now obviously we don't have paragraphs in this one so it's not gonna affect that but you can change the spacing between the paragraphs as well. Then once you have all of this set up, you now have a lot of animation opportunities with this. And you've got animation that you can do to the actual text and the animation to the text box as a whole. So just like you can do with a character or a background, you can have that text box animate onto and off of the screen by coming down here to the appearance and disappearance. So we could choose for appearance, we could say left. And for the disappearance, we could say zoom out. And so now if we come back and we bring this back over here and we play this, you'll be able to see the boom. And then once it reaches the end, we'll see transitions out, okay? So that is the transition for the entirety of the text that's on the screen, that element. But now we can actually animate the text itself by coming up here to text appearance animation. And we can do a lot of different things here. We could do an offset, and you see that's what an offset is. Now you'll notice there's a little checkbox here. So I can turn that off, and then I can come and I can choose size. But I can also choose size and offset. Okay, so a lot of cool things you can do here, and you can keep doing that. We can do fade offset and size. <laughs> and then we can come back here and say, you know what? We like that, but we're gonna get rid of offset, and now you've just got the two. And you can keep doing this with all the different types of animations that are in here. Uh, they've got one called rot, which is not what it sounds like. It's actually just spins. Um, and you'll notice it says mixed when you do that, because it's got the mix of different things. So we've got the fade, we've got the, uh, the size, we've got the, the rot, get rid of the rot and maybe we'll go with uh, let's see what else can we do oh could do a horizontal little thingy there and so now we can actually come down here to our other animations for the box as a whole and we can choose the left we can choose zoom out and now we'll have both of those types of animations all working together so we'll go back to the beginning press play Boom, there we go. So you see it does the animation to the text itself and to the entire box. So great way to be able to do a lot of cool things with this. And then obviously, you know, once we do that, then we're gonna wanna add more slides and do very similar things to them. Um, our background goes all the way out to 15 seconds. So if we want to, we can actually come back here. We can duplicate just like we did before in the other video with our characters. So if we wanna duplicate, we can do that just by hitting duplicate and boom. Now we've got another one here. And then we can come to the last one, and we can do the exact same thing and hit duplicate. And there we're at our 15 seconds now. And so we can go in and we can just change the text in whichever one that we want to mess with here. So in this one, we might want to say, uh, uh, they are fun. <laughs> okay, so something like that. You can see they are fun. And then for the last one, we can come in and we can change that to something else and say, uh, come do one today. Okay, very, very simple. But now we still have one more bit of animation that we could add to all of this to really make it stand out. And that is coming back up here, we've got the text animation area. So what this is going to do is it's going to animate the text while it's on the screen. So while we use the appearance, to make it come in and do the animation. Once it's done, we're gonna have it animate throughout the rest of the video. And we can do that by choosing one of these here. You've got wiggle, you've got shake, you've got wave, 
you've got slide, you've got bounce, you've got rot, you've got swing, you've got incur, <laughs> rain B, fade, dongle, and pend. So we can come in and we can choose one of these like wiggle. And so it's going to do this the entire time, which is pretty darn cool. We can also come and change that to shake. And now actually, in this case here, we've got both the wiggle and the shake going. So we can turn off the wiggle and now just have the shake. And let's go in and change that again. We can do, let's do the, uh, the wave, which is always a fun one. I always find that one to be really very, very cool. And again, all of this can be added into one big long animation. So if we come back over to here, white play, and there we go. All of it in one animation. So you can see there, the come do one today slid in from the side. At the same time, the actual text letters did their animation and then the entire thing did the animation once it landed. So great ways to really kind of spice this all up. And then of course, we could add different animations to each one. So if we want to come over to this one, maybe we want to do a slightly different one. Maybe uh, we'll do the, uh, the slide, see what the slide does. So the slide just kind of does that. And we'll come over to this one here. Whoops, choose that again there. On our settings. And we'll bring that slider over to here. And we'll do, in this case, how about, a, let's see what Rain B does. Oh, Rainbow, look at that. So that totally changes things. Very cool there. So now we've got our entire video and we can come in and we can play this whole thing. And you can see it's gonna fly in, have the animated text, and then the text is gonna animate while it's there. It's gonna transition out. And we're gonna have the rainbow one come in. It's gonna transition out. And then we got the last one with the wave. And boom, we've got a very cool, very colorful, very strange <laughs> slideshow that we put together to create a VSL. So very easy to do that. And of course, if you wanna take that to a whole different level, you don't necessarily have to stick with just text. You could then come and you could add pictures. Again, you're connected with Pixabay and you've got the icons and all that in here as well. So you can really start to spice this up and uh, you know make something very, very interesting. And by the way, I should also point out here um, with all of this, the one thing I didn't talk about is we've also got strokes and shadows that we want that we can add. So we could add a stroke to this if we wanted to. We could add a shadow to it. Okay, all to help make it stand out even more. Although, it stands out pretty well with that. And then on top of that, we can also do our A B move like we did with the character. So once it lands and we've got the rainbow thing going here, we could do an A B move as well. Uh, I'm not sure why you would want to necessarily, but you could do that and just make it a little more fun. So you just come in here and now when we play this one, you can see it just kind of moves downward as well. Now that could be cool if you have it come in, move down, and then maybe a picture shows up above it. That could be a great way to use that there. So you can also change the duration of the appearances and the disappearances. You could change the background height, um, which basically just changes the in, in the box itself. So the height of where it sits in the box, you can change that just that and of course if you've got multiple things you can arrange the order so that maybe one text box is above a picture or you know or above another text box or something like that so all of that available so you can make vsls with this as well so it's not just for the fun explainer cartoon style videos you can do some great animated text with this as well and uh, you can find a lot of good uses for this because not only can you make these great slides but you could also do things like make it for like a, a really nice lower third and just cut it off and bring it into your video editor as a lower third. So there's a lot of neat things you could do with this. Great program. Again, if you've got any questions about any of this, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer them for you.